Hello there. Today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the N1 Starfighter. This is easily one of my favorite ships in all of Star Wars, simply because of its design, and I'll admit, a little bit of nostalgia. From the first time I saw it take off from Naboo to liberate the planet from the clutches of the Trade Federation, to the more recent flight of a modified N1 in the Book of Boba Fett episode featuring the Mandalorian, I have loved it. So let's talk about this Naboo fighter. The N1 Starfighter was created by the Theed Palace Space Vessel Engineering Corps. Among other things in Naboo, it represented the relationship between art and functionality. It is recognizable by its chromium finish on the front and bottom of the hull, signifying its tie to the Royal Naboo Security Force. This chromium finish is also able to dazzle targeting systems, requiring enemies to adjust their scopes. This isn't just a sleek ship though. It is able to go offensive as well as defend itself with the help of twin blaster cannons, a single proton torpedo launcher, with dual proton torpedo magazines capable of holding 10 proton torpedoes, as well as deflector shields and an astromech. Using modified J-type engines that burned hotter than normal to prevent excessive exhaust to pollute Naboo's environment, the N1 was a fast, capable, and agile fighter. The N1 Starfighter was first used during the blockade and invasion of Naboo. The pilots of Bravo Squad used the N1 to engage the droid control ship looming above their planet. Heavily outnumbered, the pilots were able to combat the Trade Federation vulture droids and eventually win the battle thanks to young Anakin Skywalker and his droid R2-D2. They later saw use during Operation Cinder where General Leia Organa, pilot Shara Bey, and Queen of Naboo, Sornu, attacked Imperial satellites that were causing severe and abnormal weather on Naboo's surface. More recently, the N1 Starfighter appeared in the Book of Boba Fett Episode 5. There, the Mandalorian Din Djarin worked alongside the mechanic Pelimoto to modify and build a salvaged N1. The reintroduction of this fighter is both very nostalgic for fans of the prequels, as well as serving the character of Din Djarin and his love for pre-Empire fighters. While we only had glimpses of the Naboo N1 Starfighter's capabilities in The Phantom Menace, I think it's one of the best designs for a light fighter that we've seen in Star Wars. It looks both sleek and elegant while also being more than capable in a dogfight. Tell me your thoughts about this starfighter in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, have an amazing day, and may the force be with you.